Hold on. I, I You're know. adding in the criminal violation, and, I'm, and we, that has nothing to do with it. We have a commissioner who is telling me to leave, and Dale Flory has already told me that if that commissioner says to leave, no matter what, you're going to go do it. Now, what, what my issue is here, if what if that commissioner is telling me to leave and violating my First Amendment rights, and Dale Flory doesn't stand up and say, wait a minute, commissioner, you can't quite do that. That's how Dale Flory gets named in lawsuits. Do you realize that? Sure. Okay, so who's your, who's your allegiance to, the Constitution or that commissioner who tells you to have me leave? The Constitution. Okay, then what I would suggest that you do is never again take the stand that just because that commissioner tells me to leave this room, that you are going to enforce that. In a couple of years, things may change when all the kids grow up and start wearing ties and going to the polls. Sarah Plinsky is our county counselor and our administrator, both. Recording stopped. Just made a mistake. Is the county counselor actually going to be in this meeting? The public has a right to know, guys. Is the county counselor going to be in this meeting? And please name them. Thank you. Hey, Karen, how come my sign is allowed? Why is my sign allowed, but my words aren't? Isn't that your call? It's the same words. Now I'd like to know why time keeps counting, but we don't get thrown out. I'd like to know why. From what I understand, we had somebody up there motioning for you to come escort me out. And you started to get up, but then sat back down. Okay. So my, I guess the, the problem we have right now, and this is a real issue, is that you have a county, uh, one or two county, count, uh, county commissioners up there taking actions unilaterally that apparently the rest of the county doesn't side with. Because the deputies, when she said done, isn't that the point you're supposed to come up and remove me? They didn't ask us to do that. But she said done, and she cut my mic. Okay. Do we not understand I'm, that the, I'm, that the, I'm not going to speak for the I understand, but, in, but I'm looking at the law enforcement angle of this. You guys are getting obvious cues that say done, and that's, the, that, that's where we're technically out of order, right? Are we not out of order when they say done and just mute our mic? This is a forum that they're conducting. Right, I understand. So but are we, not, we are we not out of order? So you're saying we're not out of order? Nothing criminal that you've seen. You hear that, Jill? You hear that, Jill? It's going to be your tax money on the table too, hun. Do you guys realize what's going on? What you just addressed? Yes, I saw what happened, yes. But I don't understand why time's still counting. The mic goes off and the deputies stay still. So the only reason you stay still was because they didn't ask you to do anything. There was nothing criminal that happened that we had to take action on. Okay. But if it, hold on just a second. But if it's not criminal, hold on just a second, Justin. But if it's not criminal, if there's nothing criminal that happens, so what I'm understanding is that you're waiting on a cue from them to take action to remove us from the room. Is that right? Say that again. If there's nothing criminal that's happened and we get to a point where they say done, and at that point, I understand. But technically, at that point, we are now, I guess you would say, out of order. 
Is, is that not technically out of order? I understand. But at that point, no, no, no. I'm I, no. What I'm wanting you to answer is what I'm saying is you're not going to move until somebody up there tells you to act. Is that right? Unless you see something criminal. Unless there's something criminal. Okay. And I'm not going to say I'm not going to move. I mean, I can move around. Right. I understand, but you're not going to move as far as taking enforcement action unless you physically yourself see something criminal. Yes. Unless they tell you to. Correct. Okay. Now, I guess here, here comes my next question. This one may be a little bit more difficult. When they tell you to, what happens if you don't believe what's happened is wrong? Do you have to go by the law? Okay. What happens if they're telling you? I know we don't. I know we don't like hypotheticals. Why did you? Why did you have me removed? Was I doing something wrong? That I lied about. Yeah, you said that you weren't there when you had me removed the courthouse. When you misspoke. When you misspoke. Yeah, when you misspoke. You clear as day was there. Okay, I was talking. Right. I was talking. Did I commit a crime? Is that why I got removed? I wasn't there for the county commission meeting where you were removed from the county commission meeting. I was not there. That's what I thought you were referring to. Not the arrest. And I told my Yeah, we're after that. The separate incident where you were involved and had me removed from the meeting in May of 2022. You going to whack that shit? No, you're not, man. You're not. Because it's fucking wrong. It's the miracle, man. It's the miracle. Did I commit a crime? You were one of three deputies. You came lurching out from behind the door and walked up with the other deputies and had me moved out of there. It's you, and you lied about it. So did I commit a crime? <laughs> I've, I've said, explained said, this. You I'm not going to get into it again. So was I committing a crime? You were asked to leave. So was, like, I, was, was I committing a crime? No. Okay. okay. So, so you said the only actionable stuff is if there's a crime being committed? Or if you we will act if there is a crime being committed. So, so what was I doing wrong? Did I got removed from that? You were asked to leave by the county commission so and I'm asked to you out. I think that was the extent of it. That's that's not, that means I'm automatically wrong. Was, was, that the not, was that not the extent of it? Let me, let me, let me interject here because I guess I want to get to the... Are you being arrested? Are you kidding me? Like, oh yeah, I'm just going to walk out of you guys because we're friends. You guys are law enforcement mm -hmm. that clearly would arrest me and clearly lie about me. Were you arrested then? No, but you clearly would arrest me. Clearly. We have that authority to arrest right, you. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's not like I was just like, okay. <laughs> so then why did you have me? Why did I have to leave? They asked you to leave. We asked you to leave. You know, so as soon as they say something, you gotta do it. You gotta hand it. Is that what you're saying? Hey, you know He's what? asking you what kind of discretion you have here, but it's just as soon as they say something, you do it, huh? Hey, because you, know you don't what? like me. You know what? Is that what it is? You gotta hand it to him. You gotta hand it to him because most people would just run off from us. You gotta hand it to him. No, hold on. Yeah, yeah, but here, here, here's the real question. If there's nothing illegal happening and you're not acting based on something illegal happening, something criminal act. Right. Okay. In our presence. Uh, right. Yes. And now remembering that part of your oath as a deputy is swearing an oath to the Constitution of the United States and the Kansas Constitution, right? Sure. Okay. When they illegally or against our rights direct you to have somebody removed, what do you do? It comes to us because we are the ones that are the authority. So we need to know the law. So do you make the constitutional determination for them or do they make it and direct you? They, I'm, I'm not going to do hypothetical. No, I'm, no, this isn't a hypothetical. This is action. This is actually asking about procedure in this kind of a situation where you, you have a commissioner deciding that, that they are going to say this person needs to be removed. Mm -hmm. And we, by, we will ask them to leave. And by, but, but without, without any, without, without any question, no, no question at all. If, if they, they say remove, you're, you're going to tell them to leave. I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to ask them. To leave. No, I understand. But no question. There's no question going to enter your mind if the commissioner says, Dale Flory, Sergeant, please ask this person to leave. You're just going to do that, 100 percent. We will for the commission. Okay. Now I want to drill down to what our problem is uh -huh. and the disconnect between us. Sure. You took an oath to the U.S. Constitution. Uh huh. And you took an oath to support my First Amendment right in this room, as well as out on the streets. Yes. And you took an oath to support my Fourth Amendment, my Fifth Amendment, my Fourteenth Amendment. But what you're telling me here is that even if a commissioner is wrong and going to violate my rights, just because they say so, you will take action. That is the disconnect between us. So, not enforcement action. No, 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 no. You're going to remove us. No, 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 no. But that, but removing us from the room. No, I'm not removing. Really no, 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 yes, you. I'm you, you are. You are. No. You, at, at that, that point, point, at that point, point, when they have told me to leave, you are no longer asking me to leave. It's not an option, right? It's not an option that I have to leave, right? 
It's not like you're asking me. Let's look. Okay, so so you are. Hold on. Hold on. So you, hold on. So you're coming. I'm hoping for compliance. Right. But if I don't comply, you're going to use force. If necessary. If if necessary. If a criminal violation has occurred. Hold on, but, but see, hold on, hold on. You're adding in the criminal violation, and, and with, that has nothing to do with it. We have a commissioner who is telling me to leave, and Dale Flory has already told me that if that commissioner says to leave, no matter what, you're going to go do it. Now, what, what my issue is here, if, what if that commissioner is telling me to leave and violating my First Amendment rights, and Dale Flory doesn't stand up and say, wait a minute, commissioner, you can't quite do that. That's how Dale Flory gets named in lawsuits. Do you realize that? Sure. Okay, so who's your who's your allegiance to the Constitution or that commissioner who tells you to have me leave? The Constitution. Okay, then what I would suggest that you do is never again take the stand that just because that commissioner tells me to leave this room, that you are going to enforce that. You owe me. Is the consent if you agree to leave? No, 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 no. We're not going to go back to consent because we've already gotten to the point and let's not rewire this. We've gotten to the point where the commissioner says leave and if I don't leave, force will be employed to get me out of this room, even if I don't consent. I don't know that it would go that far. You, but if I don't consent, I'm going to leave the room one way or the other, right? Sure, we all. Okay, so let's not play semantics about asking and, and this and that because we know that ultimately I'm going to leave the room no matter what and that's going to potentially involve force if I do not comply, correct? If a criminal law is violated. No, no, no. No. Forget the criminal law. Uh-huh. So the commissioner tells me to leave. No, 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 no. no. I, no, it's not an open public forum. This is a limited public forum. Let's, let's make sure to get these definitions correct. Okay, but let's, let's go through this one more time and stay with me and let's not throw criminal charges in here that aren't here. You have a commissioner up there and I'm speaking. The commissioner says, you are out of order, you have to leave and motions for you and gives you the directive to come up there. You've already told me that when that commissioner tells you I have to leave, Regardless, Regardless, you're going to tell me to leave. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm now, going to ask you to leave. But now we're going, we're, we're going to get into the semantics about ask and tell and force and all that stuff again. But the end result of you asking me to leave is that I'm going to end up leaving the room, right? Eventually, yes. Right. He doesn't have an option to say, no, I'm not leaving. I don't have an, uh, an option to say to you, no, I'm not going to leave. What are you going to do then? Ask you to leave. And you're just going to keep asking me and we're going to go in this circle for how long? I mean, you can stay here unless there's a criminal. I keep going back to that. But there's no, we're, the criminal is not the aspect of it. You have times where we've had these commissioners have you escort people out of here. Hold on. Where you have, that, that's, that's what he just said is the real point. There was no crime committed and you still escorted him out. Right. But you voluntarily left. You're going to like that shit? No, you're not, man. You're not. Because it's fucking wrong. It's America, man. It's America. No. Oh, oh my goodness, we, we buddy. Voluntarily you. left? Did we place our hands on you? Did we place our hands Okay, how can you okay. dare so tell me, how can you dare tell me that two officers coming up, standing beside me, giving me directives to get out of the room, and I'm voluntarily? How is that? I mean, can you help him out with this? Evening days, evening beta male. I'd like to start off with a quote by Einstein who once said, the thing about smart motherfuckers is that they look like crazy motherfuckers to stupid motherfuckers. We're not going to turn your mic back on. Why are you silencing me? You directed derogatory language at us, so that's the end of your comment. Well, who, man, you guys go by that. Okay. Right, man, are you guys safe? That's your rule, man. Turn my mic back on. Turn my mic back on. You can sit down and enjoy the rest of the meeting with us, or you can leave, but your public comment is over. Why? Because of your vulgar language. What about it? What about him? I'm campaigning. I'm speaking to my base right so, here. So I'm going to ask you one more time. You can sit back down in the gallery. Yeah. I want to speak, man. I want to speak. You've done this to me a lot. You need to let me speak. You need to let me speak. You need to let me speak. It's censorship. 
I have a right to speak. You can sit down or you can right. leave. I have a right to speak. You're a tyrant. You're a tyrant. Yeah. You're a tyrant. I'm going to give you one last opportunity to sit down or leave on your own. This is what tyrants do. I'm your political opposition. You tell me to get out of here. So I come to my, to my base. It's Dr. Speaks, man. This, this, is there anybody else? Fucking bullshit. You fucking know this fucking bullshit. I'm going to shut the fuck up, man. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Wait till I'm up there and I do that shit to you, man. You don't like that shit? You don't like it. Please leave. I'm up there and I don't tell me what I'm doing, motherfucker. You don't like that shit? No, you're not, man. You're not. Because it's fucking wrong. It's a miracle, man. It's a miracle. We're, we're asking you to leave. You make it like you're asking me, but when it actually happens, you're not asking me. You're putting me in arm. You're putting me in an arm bar and taking me out. We didn't put hands on. We didn't force you out. So you would. You would. So if I would just gone sat down, the hypotheticals. You wouldn't have done anything. I'm just. Okay. I'm not doing I'm stuck on the fact that the commissioner says to remove you, and you're just going to act based on that commissioner to remove me. This commissioner says he has to be removed. And you're telling me that just I don't because know that they would do that. They, they have. Okay. They have. You were part of it. What are you talking about? Dale, come on. Dale, come on. You are, are you, are you the, is your, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to start joining him with this. Are you really that slow with the memory? They would do that. If we're getting into this, I'm not going to talk. I'm not trying to do it. But, buddy, you're really not acknowledging some of the stuff that's happened. Okay. We've had people removed from meetings under force. We've had Justin armbarred by two deputies and the sheriff and drug out of the room. And there wasn't a crime. <laughs> so let's let's talk reality here. Now we're talking. I understand, but let's talk reality. As I said, you have a commissioner sitting there that says Dale remove this person from the room, and you're telling me that. Just, just because that commissioner says, says to do it, you're going to do it. We are going to act. If they say they want someone else, right. then we will go up and ask you. To and, and, and if I don't comply with that ask, it will eventually become a tell, and then it will eventually become forced to get me out, correct? Come on, please, 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 please. If I don't, if I don't comply with the ask, and you've been told, if I, hold on. If I don't comply with the ask and you've been told to get me out of the room. You don't hear what you want to hear from me. Here, here's what would happen. Here's what would happen. The first deputy would say you need to get out like he told me. And I said, no, I'm here to speak. And then another deputy would get up to escalate it. And then a third one, their supervisor, would come around the corner. And all three of them would corner me and hurt me out of there. That's what would happen. I'm There's no ask about it. It was get the fuck out of here because we don't want you here. Nope, but that was the message. Get out of here. The sheriff threw the sign. He lost his school, but we won't get into that. But I understand, but I'm, try I'm trying not to get to this. What I'm trying to get to is you took an oath to the Constitution, and you're telling me that your ultimate authority in this room is that commissioner up there. No, and we're not the ultimate. But yet, you, but you, you're, you're telling, telling me, no, I'm saying if they ask us, we will move up there and say, will you leave the, the mm -hmm. room? And you are their enforcement arm to get me out of the room. And, and that's, that's what I'm, to keep the peace. I understand. I mean, that's what but, but, but ultimately, if they, they say somebody has to leave the room, if, say, if, if the one of those commissioners up there, especially the chair, says, this person has to leave the room, mm -hmm. Is, is Dale just to is Dale just going to ask him to leave the room, and if he doesn't, you're just going to go sit down? I'd probably have a sit down with the commissioner. I would pull him aside to talk to him about it. When? When, when did that, that ever happen? We've never, never seen something, something like that happen when people have been ejected from meetings. meetings. Never. never, never, not once. Okay. It's been an immediate reaction in the room, right on camera, where the commissioner says it. Police act. Person's out of the room. So you're telling me now that you're going to go sit down with that commissioner and not, not during the meeting. I mean, we'll. There have been conversations that have been had. That'll have after. Correct. Okay, but we're not going to talk about after the fact because we've gotten that into that tunnel before. After the fact doesn't matter. No, 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 no. After the fact doesn't matter. After the fact does not matter. We're talking about in the present. I don't care what discussions you have about it after, just like I didn't before. The discussions after didn't matter. It matters that the fact that we have a commissioner that says, Dale, I want this person out of the room, and you're just going to do that. Regardless of our constitutional rights, that's where I'm coming down. Sure, and I understand what you're saying. I would ask you to leave the room. Regardless of our constitutional rights, I would ask you. Yes, I'm and not then, forcing you out there. Okay, and, you and, then, and, and then, and then, and then, if I don't, if I say no, I'm not leaving, and the commissioner says, "Officer, he has to leave the room." What's your next step? That's the question I would have to ask. 
the commission at the time. And then, so, so you're going to say to them say what? That, is this something for arrest? And I don't think that would be a, an arrestable offense. What if it's not arrest and they just want me out of the room? It's a public forum. You can be here unless you're causing a disruption. Do you agree with me on that? Yeah, but here's here's the I, I'm just I'm I'm trying to stay on top of this conversation because you're really good at sh at, at at I, I want I don't want to say twisting, but you're adding stuff to you're adding stuff into the conversation that have no context to it. You kept adding the criminal charge. I'm talking about a simple public forum issue, a, a limited public forum issue where a commissioner says, "Officer, this man has to leave." And, and we're, we're getting, getting stuck on the semantics of you're going to continue to ask me and over. We've not seen that ever. When an officer is directed that somebody has to leave, we've never seen a discussion about asking. We've seen a discussion of, of you have to leave now and they escort you out. And there's no after the fact discussion happening right there. It may happen after the fact, but we are already out of the room and we've already had our constitutional rights violated. And you've participated in it. Do you see what I'm saying? In, in what? In, 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 in the violation of people's constitutional rights by only acting on that commissioner. From the, when we're over at county commissioner sure. downtown? Anytime that you have only acted based on the simple word of that county commissioner, you run a risk of violating people's rights unless you protect your oath to the Constitution and know what our rights are and correct them on the spot. Because it's not, it's not good enough to correct them in a meeting afterwards. Because, because once, well, like, from like, that point going forward, they are on the same page. Right. What we can and can't do. But let's take so tonight, for example. That's to your benefit. Agreed. And, and you guys are doing this to help others. Agreed. But let's take that. Let's take tonight for an example. Uh, when, when they muted that mic, according to the courts. Again, that's the commission. I, I understand, and that's not yours. But I'm, I'm letting you know because it's important for you to understand your constitutional responsibilities here. And I'm glad that you guys did tonight. That, I mean, thank you. But what happened here when they muted that mic, mm -hmm. that is the same as removing me from the, mo from the room when the courts look at it. Because that, that video is now, I, I understand, but I'm trying to give you, give you guys a little tidbit of what's going on here because this is going to become a much bigger issue very soon. Because this, the First Amendment around here is going to get taught. And, and it's going to be him and I and whoever else will join us if we have to. Because, and him and I have some fights, mm -hmm. but when he falls, I'm the next one. So I'm going to damn sure stand up for him. I don't. Know, we don't always agree, do we? But I'm damn sure going to stand up for him. But when you have a commissioner giving you a directive that you're just going to simply follow with no, no thought about our constitutional rights, that's a problem. And I'm glad that you guys. Right. Right. And it has happened. It has happened tonight. Tonight. I want to thank you for the adjustment that's happened at the sheriff's department that doesn't let you guys get involved in their malfeasance. But I'm sure if you had said, "I'm removed," well, we'll see what happens down the road. This is going to be pushed harder, and it's going to be pushed further, and it's going to be up to you guys to remember what our constitutional rights are and not let them get you named in the lawsuit that's going to come, because they're going to get sued over what happened tonight. They cannot cut mics and just they kept counting the time what was that if i'm out of order and they say Lee, they say you're done no they sarah plinsky kept holding up the little time markers the whole time i was muted what was that if i'm out of order why are you still holding time i'm supposed to leave right so it's not on zoom basically no she, or youtube sorry she, the audio is it be, but what I'm saying is she's still counting down my time, my three minutes, mm -hmm. even though I've been told I'm done. Do you know that that's con, that's wow? I just, what's going on up here? I can't figure it out. And again, I'm not going to speak. Okay. All right.